All right, let's look at number one. Dan charges $15 per hour for walking dogs. What's the missing number in the table? Okay, so what we could do here is throw in an extra line, $15 per hour. So one hour, it's $15. So one hour is $15. We want five hours. So all we'd have to do, well, we could see how do we get from one to five. We would multiply by five. So we would do the same thing here, times five. And 15 times five is 75. So one is C. Two, what's the constant of proportionality for the data in the table? Okay, so what would our um, what would our slope be, our k? So to find k, we're on number two, to find k, k equals y over x. So let's pick a y, let's pick an x. Time is our independent variable, which means the charge depends on the time. So the y would be 15 over the x, which is 1. 15 over 1 is 15, so the constant answer for 2 has to be C. 3. Which equation shows the relationship in the table? So here is K, and remember the K for a proportional relationship is the same as M. So if this is our slope, we would get Y equals 15x. So 3 is A. Moving on to 4. Which table shows a constant rate of change? So what is the constant rate of change? Well, here we have time, so this would be X and this would be Y. And all of these first columns are the same. So we know that they all need to be and for constant, we put y over x. So what is this? Well, let's go to the side. 225 divided by 6. 6 goes into 22 three times. 6 times 3 is 18 minus, and you get 4. Bring down the 5. 6 goes into 45 seven times, that's 42, minus and get three, add a decimal and a zero, bring it down, six goes into 30, five times. Six times five is 30, and those will cancel. So our constant is 37.5. So we could write this equation, y equals 37.5x. So let's plug it in. We know that time is x and distance is y. So we know that when time is at, time is 12, it's either going to be 450 or 500. So y equals 37.5 times 12. So let's figure that out. 37.5 times 12. When we multiply that, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 0, then we get 5, 7, and 3. So let's add these up. 0, 10, 14 gives us 15. And that is 4. And we have to move the decimal over one time. So when x is 12, y is 450. So we know that b cannot be our answer. So we could do 18, but I'm going to try 20 because if I try this one, and I know that 20 doesn't give us either of these, then this has to be the answer. Um, and if 20 does work, 
then that can't be the answer. So I'm just going to pick this one here. So I'm going to stick with our y equals 37.5 times x. And instead of x, I'm going to do 37.5 times 20. So 37.5 times 20. I'm just going to throw that 0 in right away. We'll bring this 0 straight down. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. 6 and 7. Move the decimal over once. So y equals 750. When x is 20, y equals 750. So the answer to 4 has to be 